amazing, beautiful friends, subscribers, and folks clicking on this video right now. It's your boy, Adam P, and welcome to the Adam Petway Show, where we talk about a lot of stuff, but the majority of it is anime. Now, if you're a returning viewer, I want to say thank you for tuning in. If you're a first time watcher and you somehow stumbled upon my videos, Thank you too for watching. I hope that after today you subscribe, you like, and you continue this journey with me. Look, I love and need the support. But like I said outside, we have a special video for you guys today and we are going to be talking about, drum roll please, One Piece. <laughs> now when I say and mention one piece i usually get two up uh, two opposing sides you get your one side i know like heck this dude is not suggesting watching one piece it is too long to watch and then you have your second group which is i grew up watching it and i love it or i binge watched it and it took some time and i caught up and i love it so today's video if you if you clicked on it you already know we're talking about one piece and specifically why you should watch one piece now our story follows you know you can see our guy over here I and mean, it's a figure i got let me see if it'll if it'll focus in i saw if people do something like you know you put it close and then you put your hand behind it, it's supposed to focus but i'm not 100 percent sure but it follows our boy monkey d luffy i got this when i went to the last anime convention uh you know because of the uh, virus they're not having it this year but uh, got it at awa which is anime weekend atlanta uh if you have been there comment below but look the story of one piece spans a very very long time right so some people like i was saying in the first group is like adam it is too long for me to watch and specifically hold on one second while i grab my phone two hours later all right so currently i watch one piece on a website called kiss anime which is um you know it, it is what it is but it's a it's a it's where i watch all my anime so right now we are currently at episode get this 900 and 29 that's for sub now dub is a different category i don't know how long it's probably a couple hundred episodes behind but if you're a sub watcher you are at 929 episodes now some people might be saying adam that is a whopping number of anime to well a lot of episodes to be watching now to give just a little backstory um for how I kind of got into One Piece. I fell into kind of the first camp when I when I first started watching anime, well, when I got back to watching anime in college, because I started when I was younger. You know how we all start off with Dragon Ball Z, uh, Inuyasha, Sailor Moon, Gundam, like all the OG anime. One Piece was there because One Piece um, came out in October of 1999. So, it is over 20 years old. What? That is just a feat in itself for an anime to have such a long longevity. So now, that should tell you for my people who haven't watched it, something about One Piece has to be that good that is still going on. You know, there, there are a lot of shows. It's not many, maybe on, I can count on one hand that I know, of anime that even go past five six hundred episodes for it to have been going for so long that really really means something but just a quick like backstory on myself and how i got into one piece when i first started watching back in college i was one of those people who said i would never ever watch one piece and it wasn't because it was super duper long i said that at first because at the time it was like maybe 500 550 episodes maybe 600 but I did not like the animation. Now I'm a now I'm a little different because I try to give every anime a chance. But when I first started, I was very particular about the animation that I liked. I like all my human people. Oh man, I got a burp. 
but um i like all my human people to look like humans like i like proportionate size people and that's just me and i know some people might say well adam you missing out you gonna miss out on some great anime just because you don't like animation like there's a lot of anime anime slash their animation that i don't like i think one is like ruby i think that's the i think it's like r w b y something like that just that animation i don't like and it's other it's other animations that i didn't like as well but i kind of bit the bullet and watched them and you know i liked them so i can't say whether or not they're good or bad anime i just know some people are real sticklers about that sort of stuff but i did not like one piece because for those of you who have seen it the human characters range, well, the majority of people are human, so they range in so many different sizes. Like Luffy, the main character, he's a normal human size. Well, he's kind of short, but he's like a normal 5'5". Five five. Average height for the majority of people are like 10 feet, you know, and that's not me being, and you're not me exaggerating. These dudes are like super duper tall. I mean, now you have your giants, you have your like, uh, giant human hybrid people that are like big just because but they're giants right but like there are people who are 13 14 feet tall and that's normal for them like just being super duper tall or some people's necks are super duper long or some people have super duper long like arms and it is just kind of weird it, it, it takes time to get used to that if that's not what you're into for me i was into like human characteristics like you know with um i mean a prime example would be like naruto i guess where the characters look mostly human i mean obviously besides like orochimaru in them but like i like all my characters to look as human as possible but i'm gonna tell you what broke the mold for me i was kicking it with my with one of my homeboys and he's a big one piece fan and he was like adam just start it and what i did was i watched the amv of uh the one of the big fights and i was like you know what i'ma start it and my junior year in college i started it during summer during the summer it took me a whopping year well no not even a year i'd say a half a year to catch up on that but uh i did that when i was i was going to school and, oh I, it was during the summer but i was working going to school and stuff like that so trying to fit that in it took a little bit of time but i did catch up but I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys why I think you should be watching it. So not only is the animation incredible. Wait a minute. Now, I know what you're thinking. Adam, you just said you didn't like the animation. But after really sitting down and watching it and then watching it, it's change over the years, it really brought a lot of things to light so when you start off it's gonna have that older anime hue to it so like for my people who used to watch inuyasha like i said before or cowboy bebop or shamurai shampoo like anime like that that has like a kind of older tint to them it has that and then you kind of watch that progression which is incredible but the storyline in itself is solid so it like i said his stars are um the main character monkey d luffy who has a simple goal of wanting to be king of the pirates and being king of the pirates pretty much means being the top dog of the pirates pir pirates pirates around the world right so i'm sure even if you haven't watched one piece you kind of already know what what it's about but it follows his adventure and I, I can just sum up with saying that one piece is super heavy strong in the adventure and fighting category so if you like incredible fights and you like adventure and you like comedy those three kind of tie into one piece very hard and i mean it definitely has its emotional moments i would i wouldn't say look those up because that's gonna spoil some stuff for you it spoils some stuff for me i'm not gonna say the character but you know obviously i was not looking forward to that happening but i got spoiled but it follows his quest on becoming the pirate king and it's been 20 years now and he still ain't pirate king but that just goes to show that there's so much story and world building in the anime so like they cover the whole world now i know like in naruto and bleach and others and other really really popular anime like hunter x hunter they talk about the world as a whole but they rarely go visit all the places but with like one piece there's so many islands so many oceans so many places so many sky islands and that's not i don't want to spoil that for you but they got a sky island man people living up in the sky you know so the fact that they're able to world build so incredibly is just 
a testament and a monument to the greatness of One Piece. Now, boom, we talked about that. Another thing, fights. So if you like fights, I'm sure that's the majority of people who watch anime like fights. I know. So I, mean, so I mean, I like to say you need to branch out more, watch some comedy based stuff, some more, you know, love based anime. There's some really, really good anime besides fighting. But if you love fights, One Piece is where it is at. Like they are throwing hands all the time. And then characters have special powers. That is not just, you know, regular fisticuffs. Some people fisticuff. Other people shoot fire out of their hands or throw magma balls or, you know, do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So you got great fights, great storytelling. Animation is on point. It has everything that it needs to be a top tier anime. Now, some people will debate, you know, whether One Piece is the GOAT anime of all time, with whether it's because of longevity, whether it's through sales, because if you go by sales, then yeah, it, but it's been out for 20 years, you know? So if you're looking at it through those lenses, you know, but what I will say is for me, when I started, when I, the, the point that I really got into One Piece, I was watching, I tried to give uh, an anime 10 episodes, uh, depending. Well, One Piece, I gave it a little longer because it's so much longer, but normally I give it like three or four. But when I got to the episode with Usopp, who's one of the characters, and his kind of like story arc in that small section, that really got to me. And then just kind of watching, because even, even in that anime, and this is one of the big things that I really love about it, they do a lot of social commentary. So I'm gonna try not to keep it long because I'm already running this 11 minutes, so I'm trying not to go super duper long, but they touch a lot of social commentary like slavery, discrimination, um, poverty, uh, the 1% pretty much running everything. Like they talk about the stuff that we see in the news, <laughs> the stuff that we hear about, one Piece already talks about that sort of stuff, which is really good because it kind of sheds light on a lot of stuff. Like there are moments in this anime where you see people literally getting sold and branded and you see just such amazing stuff, but then you also see such dark stuff and you gotta be like, man, this gotta be like some commentary on today's society. So it's not just a playful anime, it's fun. It's super duper fun, adventurous, you know, it's, it's great, but it also touches on a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're looking for anime that actually you gain something from watching it, you gain something from really watching One Piece. I also got my other pop figure and my boy Law over here. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but he got a super OP power, man. For those of you who know, you know this dude is super duper strong. So yeah, also I do have a little mini pop collection as well. Um, I want to grow that out more as well. But... To give a little, uh, uh, to give a, a little bit more background, so some of you might be saying, "Well, dang, Adam, it's super duper long. How can I watch? Um, how can I watch One Piece?" Now, I looked it up, and I obviously I looked it up on my phone. How long it would take to really watch One Piece realistically? Two thousand years later. Right now, they, they didn't have the most recent episodes, but what I saw is if you watched it. Through, like day to day if you watched it like for a whole day which you know it's unrealistic to think you're gonna watch it 24 hours a day seven days a week right but if you did it would take you 11 days not bad but realistically can't nobody do that you die just staying up that long i think so let's just see it says so we got 929 episodes right and normally the uh, the episodes length are like 20, 22 minutes, but we're just gonna say 20 minutes, right? So that's um, mm, that's 18,580 minutes. So, um, yeah, that would take that. I mean, so take that with what you will. I'll, I'll do some calculations on that, um, but it would be. It would be pretty long so i would say it might take you to i've heard some people say it might take two weeks um but i would say if you're really dedicated to watching it um i mean don't make it a big deal like break it off into chunks and there's actually there's websites that you can find that remove the filler um that tell you the episodes you can skip um because some people like that stuff they're like well i don't want to see the filler i don't want to see 
uh, stuff that's not, you know, re related to the storyline. And, and I mean, I understand that too. Bleach was one of those big anime that I loved that fillers were straight stupid. Like you would get in, you would see a fight and in the next episode, they're flying kites. Like how you go from punching somebody in the face to flying a kite. But One Piece, I will say, I say watch all the episodes. The fillers in themselves are good. Like I was so immersed in the story, I couldn't even tell where the fillers were. You know, it wasn't like Naruto and, and Bleach, you know. It, those, the fillers kind of just flowed in there to me personally. But there's some websites you can find that specifically tell you what episodes you need to watch to catch up, optimize your time and you can bang it out in maybe two weeks. I would say that, but if you wanna take, I would say take small chunks. So maybe do, you know, I, obviously we're in a quarantine now, so you got more than enough time, but they're opening back up the state here in Alabama, which I'm not gonna say whether that's the best move or not, but I mean, people are still dying from it. So, but I'm a, that's not why we're here to talk about, um, but, you're, we're in quarantine, so I would say break it down into chunks. Maybe try to watch seven episodes a day, you know, maybe less than that. If you want to do more, ten. I know a lot of times I, I can binge watch a whole bunch in a day depending on what I'm doing that day. But let's just say you do ten episodes, right? You can definitely break it down. I, I'm a strong advocate for one piece just because of everything that i said about it like if you're looking for an anime that's solid you know because sometimes people are jumping around from anime to anime to figure out what they like like one piece is something you can settle down in for a while like you're always going to find something new that you like about the show you're gonna always see stuff that you like so why not give it a chance you know here's my thing if you don't like and this is what i had to learn too if you don't like the anime, just don't watch it. But you at least give it a try unless you just automatically know you don't. But like, just because it's super duper long, you may never know. Like some people watch like Breaking Bad or Grey's Anatomy or um, I'm trying to think The Wire or like other shows that have been going on for a long time. You know, you watch those. So what's the difference really? You know, you just gotta figure out if you like it or not. Now I would say, watch 10 15 episodes you know because there's some shows where the seasons aren't that good like game of thrones i never watched game of thrones so you know but apparently it was a worldwide phenomenon everybody loved game of thrones which is cool i just ain't never have netflix was it on netflix whatever it was on i wasn't watching it but that's no shade i did watch like a couple episodes but i know some people are like season one was the best <coughs> Also, my throat is dry. I'm not dying from coronavirus. But um, um, but some people were like, well, season three was amazing, but season four was not good. Or the last season apparently wasn't all that good because of some crazy stuff. I don't know. But it's like that. So you might catch one piece in a season where you're like, well, I don't know if I like that arc. But you're like missing out because there's so many other arcs you can see that are going to be incredible. But look, I'm looking at the time right now, and I have been yammering and talking for a minute. But look, I want to do a couple of other series like these talking about other anime, but I just really wanted to start with One Piece because it is definitely like in my top five anime of all time. And it took a long time for it to get there. Like it didn't start off up there. You know, it took some time, but we... You know, I have a I have a lot going on right now, so I'm constantly watching new anime. If you have any questions about One Piece, or if you want to, you know, want my opinion on anything, comment below. Look, thank you all for watching. You know, thank you all for continuing to grow this thing with me. Cause look, we we're about to go on a roll. Like I'm finna start pushing out more content. Um, so I definitely love your support. Um, I appreciate your support. So please like share comment all that good stuff look if you know anybody that's in anime and the uh, into sneakers into just because i'm i'm what i like to do is i'm just a pretty chill guy i'm gonna be honest to surmise my channel up i think surmise is the right word i'm just a weird semi cool pretty chill guy that likes anime likes urban culture likes all that other stuff rolled up into one and i just like making videos for you guys so i mean if you feel that and you're down with that follow me you know if not 
follow me, you know, but I've been yammering long enough. Look, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Look, follow me on Facebook. It's Adam Clayton. Follow me on Instagram. It's Adam underscore Clayton 93. And follow, finally, finally, if you want to follow me on TikTok, which I've been, you know, trying to post a little bit more, it's uh, the same as my Instagram. It's Adam underscore Clayton 93. Look, positive vibes, blessings, prayers up for you guys. I hope your family is safe. Be safe. Wear your mask. Wear your gloves. Peace.